Hello everybody, I'm Count Crystal and welcome back to the Roman Reclamation Campaign. I, uh, I've turned off this fort and I may delete it. Uh, mm, I shouldn't because it's on the border with a rival, but I'm going to keep it turned off. We can just keep track of the peasants rather than just, sorry, the rebels in general. Rather than just, uh, just leaving it on because we know there might be rebels in that area. We're going to do Imperial Reconquests. And we have Imperial Reconquests against you? No. Against you? No. Okay, so we do want to use Imperial Reconquest. We don't really want to full call anyone. Cool. Storm in. We're going to restrict looting as ever. Speed 3, please. Quick stack wipes of all of the armies involved. Shouldn't take but a moment with a 11% uh, percent percent <laughs> discipline advantage. There really isn't going to be much. Why can't I? Excuse me. Oh. Sorry, wrong people. Monasticism, my lord, it's tanking my prestige. It's alright. We'll manage. Why have you been black flagged, hum? Hmm? Why have you been black flagged, hum? It's weird. I don't know where they're going. Are they going to try and siege me? Siege me? Are they going to try and siege this? That I turned off fort? Good luck with that. You don't, I mean, you're black flagged, dude. <laughs> If it's a graphical bug and they siege my fort, I'm going to be mad. Oh, I didn't save between this episode and the last. Let me just drop a save. Again, I do this not really to save scum, but so we can just make sure crashes don't send us back too far. It is an unstable mod sometimes. Okay, that probably means the lesser nobles have run out. Yes, awesome. <laughs> right, level one fort. Do we have a siege leader? We do. Let's go down to... Roughly the bare minimum. And just let them... If those guys are happy to do other sieges for us, I think I'll just let them go for it. Where are you going, hum? <laughs> so you uh, do have a core here. Albania is currently allied to... That's what we're going to do. I'm such a fool. I can't believe anything didn't occur to me. We just declare war on Albania and get to war with Akia that way. And then we just peace out Akia to end their treaties and then in five years go after them again. Geopolitics. Fun, aren't they? I wonder if uh, the forts still make the nobles feel safe, or rather the estates feel safe, and then hence not building local fortifications, if the forts are turned off. I don't know that. <clears throat> they might not. I guess uh, we won't find out exactly, because it's not a... Not a totally fair test. Oi, Albania, what are you doing? Albania and Bosnia going to war with the same targets as us. How dare they? Military access from Zeta? No, thank you. I'm going to be at war with you very soon, although you don't know it yet. Kosovo retreating south into our territory. Let's slow it down a bit. Speed 5. There's really a good reason to be on speed 5. You miss too much stuff if you play speed 5 all the time. Just don't let them get to turn off 4. Let's just turn it on just to be safe. Where, where, where do you think you're running to, dude? <laughs> this this level zero four province? Look, I can stand here, and eventually you're going to have to border me. Court factions influence ruler, whatever. Are we going to catch him? No. Come on. Come back here, you done. Kos Kosovans? Kosovonians? I don't know. All right, there we go. Finally got him. Albania's getting hum for us. Excellent. Yeah, so a quick follow-up war on Albania. Taking out Moria in the process. Seems excellent to me. Oh, joy is me. I think the uh, Roman peasants are ticking down. They are indeed. Look at that. Fantastic. No more unrest. <laughs> the estate system is one of the uh, one of the more challenging parts of this mod. That's for darn sure. Two to... Two to how many? Two to twelve pips. So I think it said five to twelve pips, actually. It, was it five to twelve? You got the minimum number of pips? Fan-freaking-tastic. <laughs> oh, well. All right, Kosovo, peace you out. I'm pretty sure I can't take land. Yeah, because of the war goal. So we'll just take cash and war reps and uh, make you end rivalries for max prestige. And then you give up some claims. Actually, giving up claims... Yeah, claims is worse than 
And then you got boys. Cool. That'll do. Do 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 do. Obviously, they're going to probably take Kosovo. But that's fine. We're going to be with them soon. I would like this patriarch. I don't know if. No, I don't think controlling individual patriarchs actually helps much. I can't recall though. Hmm. Uh, yes, I'm not spending. This is firing, by the way, because we have uh, high inflation or highish inflation above five inflation. But I'm just going to keep taking the uh, local autonomy. I want the admin points. We're pretty behind on uh, admin tech right now. Yeah, poor tech's behind. Not good. There goes the cores. Nice. It's everything cored up. Can I slide? Yes. Shame. How close are we to being a great power? Probably quite away, right? Yeah. Yeah, 300. So someone mentioned that we would get banking in the capital if we, in the capital region, in the whole trade region, if we gave uh, Genoa trade privileges. And now Venice, I guess. I don't think that's right, though. Because you can get banking spread from. Uh, Someone or other trading in a nearby center of trade. Do we have any centers of trade here apart from this one? No. Shame. Why don't we have a center of trade in Perusa? It really feels like we should. Do we not have uh, good trade buildings here? Oh, a merchant guild. Too many military leaders again. Well, not much I can do apart from actually just declaring war on these guys. Um... Oh, we haven't embargoed them. I'm a fool. We can do that. Do not permit anything. There goes our prestige. <laughs> well, I'll keep trying. Okay, there goes that war. Well, let's jump it on into our own one. We've got gaining manpower during this last war, so feeling pretty good. We're going to do an Imperial Reconquest War. It should let me take land from them, but I don't think I actually need to. Well, ideally, actually, I would take this province, because then we border Moria, and then we can uh, make them a vassal. Uh, and Moria has cores here. Yeah. So we make Moria a vassal and we can feed them back these cores. And then... Uh, well, we already have cores on Moria. Maybe I should just break the alliance with Moria. We do have a royal marriage. So sure, I guess we'll vassalize them. I don't want to vassalize them though. They're in our home region. Ah, I'm conflicted. Okay, there goes Hum. Hey, Hum. Give us this, and actually, sure, trade power. Which doesn't take a diplo slot. When it's fourth in peace, I believe. Good. And you, I'll be taking that, please. You can cancel your core. Lovely. Free claim, sorry, free uh, territorial core. New mission. The Ionian Coast. Idin and Sivazar. This one. We do get territorial cores, but it is Sunni. Well, it's nice land. They got weak allies. We'll do that next. Decision? Spend the theme system, sure. Uh, yes, I am going to go for that. Oh, we border Hungary now. So we could royal marry them, but we couldn't, in fact, because they have too many royal marriages. So, yes, we will go after those two provinces. If, if the game's going to give us free cores, it's just a waste of modern points to not accept them at that point, I think. Uh, Imperial Reconquest, focused on. A pole? Is that not on the list? Oh, they have three provinces all down here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sure. And we won't full call anyone. Declare. Let's get in there. Oh, yeah, Albania, Ab not Albania. Aberdon. Where'd your troops go? There they are. Cool. Here's Albania's. Oop. Quick little victory against a uh, it's an enemy fleet there. Didn't notice that at all. So in order to uh, hey loan to repayment time, nice. We need one more. Once we've repaid that, we'll start building up a bit of a bigger fleet so we can take on the Venetians. Break the Venetian sea dominance, naval dominance. Sorry. Rare, don't run. Except the inevitable. Akia, Akia. We will go protectionism. Until you have almost total control of the node, I think protectionism is the way to go. For that event. Okay, we will... Quickly... Establish some sieges. So level 1 fort? Yeah. 
Don't want to waste excess manpower. Let's bring the extra guys out. And the feast deal we're looking for here is probably cash. No. Well, one cash. Why not? And just break alliance with Naples. That's it. And then we'll go after uh, we'll go, go after them again in five years. We might even be able to do that immediately. Yep. More cash too. Ah, <laughs> I took out a loan. <laughs> Yoink. All right. See you in about six years. Okay. National institutions. Bad omens. Hang on. Uh, we'll give them what they want. Okay. 20% chance of lose stability and we get decreased morale or religious scandal. I don't want a religious scandal because it can turn into religious war. So let's repent our sins. 20% chance of lose stability, please, come on. Don't do this to me. We already had a 20% stab hit. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was tense. Glad it didn't happen. How do you have vision on me? Cheating AI. All right, there goes the last loan, which means... We can build up to match the Venetian fleet. Match and exceed, of course. All right, get them. Most of the purpose of this war was just to get to war with uh, with Akia, but might as well still take some land for our subject here. You presumably desire all this land, yeah. Not that that would matter. You can give your subjects lands they don't desire. It's only allies that you can't. Which is good. I'm glad they added that in. Because you used to be able to ruin your allies. Mm. If you totally won a peace deal, you used to be able to give your allies like 400% overextension of land, which would give them a coalition with the entire world. It was a fantastic way to absolutely ruin an ally. He now has 10% infantry compatibility. Hey, that's a great trait. I don't think I want to take this province. Well, it does have a bit of bit of urban development going on there, so maybe we will. It is orthodox, so yeah, we will. If there's orthodox land, I mean, you know, the thought process is not complex. If it's orthodox, give give clay and all that good stuff. We'll just run in, siege the capital, probably piece them out as soon as we can. Don't really want to finish the siege. Uh, yep. We will take... Oh, wait, it's recon Imperial Reconquest, so we can't take that other land. This is all we want. War apps, cash. Seems good. Uh, Aberon, congratulations. We didn't get free cores here, so you can have them. Drawers, and... Let's see. Congratulations. You're now the new Albania. Though without this province. Okay, uh... Muslim expansion time. Half a stab point, I'll take it. Excuse me, would you stop already? I'm giving you an order. Thank you. Dun, dun, dun. Don't take folksals. In case you're wondering, this is not an instance of Christo being terrible at reading things. That is pronounced folksal. Take it from the sailor. Okay, so you're allied to Cam Cam Caraman, I think. We're going to toggle both these forts in preparation for this war, just to be safe. Toggle that one off. He has claimed a province. Dude, you're suicidal. I guess I might as well build a spy network here just to uh, slightly speed up the sieges. Incredibly slightly, but every little bit helps the man, Papal. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Welcome, Romanus, savior of us all. 252, a perfectly average chap. That's fantastic. Now all we need is a bit more stability. And I mean a bit. 52 points. And we're good to go. We can get rid of this darn succession by the sword. We also need 25,000 manpower, so I should probably keep waiting on that. But, you know, like I said, it gives me a free core. I'm going to take a free core. Moria will actually join our war. Not much point calling them in. Take the Imperial Reconquest CV. We'll go with the uh, lower fort level province. Go, go, go. I know Moria will join, but I don't want them. Oh, it's actually level 2 fort, pardon me. don't really want to fight Cameron uh, uh, if I don't need to. 
cameraman, sorry, if I don't need to. So I'm going to just uh, hang out over here. I guess I might as well send these guys in to make this fight even more of a stomp. Do, 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 do. Castile. Castile keeps getting themselves exiled. <laughs> hey, they actually got some lands. Well done, they got Manila. Elrith. They might be able to hold on to Manila because it's so unpopulated it's easy to convert. But these two, I'd be impressed if they held on to it. It's a pain. Lack of demand for goods? Oh no. Is that an event designed to stop you just building a crazy monopoly of one thing? Maybe they've added something in about that. I should have read that. Um, what's I saying over here? Yeah, so... Castile can, weirdly enough, Castile can get religious war, uh, religious civil wars that break out where the only non people who aren't in the right religion group are over here. It's kind of ridiculous. And then they have a heretic stronghold here. And you can get, yeah, ridiculous stab hits. Just because you hold some overseas land that's Sunni. It seems a bit silly to me, but there you go. Let's drill. A few of these guys aren't going to come over. I'm, uh, I'm content to keep exercising here. Do, do. Look at all these Castilian men <laughs> going through. Say the public office. Next one gives us the idea group. Poll taxes. Fantastic. You got any money for me, Burgers? They do not. I've got some money for you, Lesser Nobles. The other option is to just tank Lesser Noble loyalty. I think I'm content to do it the slower way, which is where you regularly give the Lesser Nobles cash, as well as the Greater Nobles. Can't afford that right now, though. We will have troubles, basically for the whole campaign, with the lesser and greater nobles, because we're going to be constantly expanding, and when you constantly expand and conquer new territories that are controlled by the greater nobles, it's a problem. I've been considering doing a uh, m and tutorial series, by the way, because I don't think there is a particularly good one of those out there since like the original one that Damien did. Damien being the, uh, the main developer, one of the main developers at least. On, uh, on Mayo and Taxes. And obviously some stuff's changed since then. I thought his... I think his were pretty good. They're very informative and obviously he knows what he's on about. They're not massively engaging, in my opinion. But, I don't know. Maybe one I did would be hugely unengaging too. <laughs> They're very good though. I found them very useful. But a couple of people have asked me to do one recently. So I'm considering it. I certainly don't know everything about the mod. As Lambert keeps pestering me about in the comments. <laughs> but uh, I think I know a fair amount these days. So we are going to have to at least go over and do something to them to persuade them to push off. Caraman, I mean. Do we have military access? No. Hmm, maybe we can blockade them into piecing out. We shall see. Okay, Caraman, push off. No? Alright, well, I'm going to come kill you then. I mean, really, you bring it upon yourself. I haven't done, a, like, an EU4 tutorial series, either. I don't know. I might do that. Why won't you let me through? Hostile attitude? Yeah, but I'm so much stronger than you. And I, might, I mean, I might just declare war on you to make you let me through. In fact, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to take any land off them, but, you know, if you won't let my troops through... You just suffer the consequences. And then, uh, once we leave behind the bare minimum to do that... Excuse me? i got military access through here. Pardon? Yes. Ah, oh, right, of course. I can only walk to the fort. But yeah, I think like a, like a four or five part series, just doing a quick rundown of a couple of the mechanics in Mayo and Texas, could be, uh, could be valuable to a lot of people. Alright, hopefully once I come over here and make them realise that the, being in this war will have consequences, we'll be able to piece them out. Maybe? Occupied and besieged? Plus nine. I might actually have to siege this freaking fort, which I'm not overjoyed about. No, I don't want you to be in port. We need to help blockade. Let's bring in the transport ships. Just get that tiny bit of extra blockading strength up. <clears throat> Only up to 84. Not quite enough. Still. 
Should we take land from these guys? Oh yeah, they do have the Orthodox province, I forgot. I think we'll take the Orthodox province from them. How large is the Orthodox minority here? It's only 20% of the population. So I think we'll just stick with taking this one off them. What is this, 40% uh, probably, Sunni population? Yeah. Uh, Hungary, you're, no, you can't have military access. Who's Hungary at war with? They want military access from me. Ooh, Naples. I was going to say you should declare war on Akia, but we made that a little redundant. Now freaking Venice is guaranteeing them. Man, they just don't want me to get powerful, do they? Those darn Italians. Well, we can deal with that. We're building up a navy for the express purpose of killing Venice anyway. I guess we just do more. Sunni fanatics are about to rise up. I could really do without that. And since I'm still ahead on Miltech, hopefully this will be the final. Oh, it's only 30? That's no problem then. I just really could do without. It hurts my min-maxing soul to use harsh treatment. Holy fool. We will honor him as a holy fool. You peace out now? Must be getting some war exhaustion. No, not really. Interesting. I'm tempted to take this province too. If I'm honest with you. There is a mine here. What's it producing? Salt. Delicious, delicious salt. Gotta cure those uh, cure those foods. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna take it from them. No, don't offer tribute. <laughs> Should have let me through, shouldn't you? Expand the theme system. Okay, almost done over here now. Court level's gone back down. Alright. Thought it was trending up enough, but apparently not. Give them a stipend of 20. See if that holds it. You guys can merge. The more Imperial Reconquest. Fantastic. You guys can do a bit more in the Aegean. These chaps can go on home. More soldiers. Nice. That practically paid for... Uh, in fact, it did pay for half the... Uh, why am I sieging with so many more men than necessary? You fool. Don't do that. There we go. Silly mistake. Never mind. Confirmation of a metropolitan. I also just in general think uh, tutorials from non from the people that make games are often not quite what players need. Because when you're the person that makes the game, you have such a huge amount of knowledge and you've gained it in a different way to people that play the game. Does that make sense? Oh god, the shabby court means we have one different. Um, you've gained the knowledge in a different way. You've gained the knowledge through kind of implementing it, at least to a certain extent. And uh, I think that ends up with you understanding the game in a, in a different way to a player. I don't know, maybe I'm talking rubbish, but it's just the impression I get sometimes. Are they going north? Oh, we can't let them go anywhere near this fort, so in case they get access through a retina, we shall block them off there. You're probably willing to, to bend the knee now, aren't you? Yes. None of this lands down here is orthodox, is it? No. This province is? No, that's right, it's controlled by the knights that we converted. <laughs> that was fun. The crusader state of the knights. <laughs> converted to, uh, to the orthodox faith. Okay, there we go. Let's wipe these guys out, and they'll be willing to give us whatever we want, because they'll have full occupied and besieged penalties in the peace deal. Hello there, good sir. Give me all your cash. Give me your war reps. Trade power? No. Some cores? Why not? And then we can return home. The victors. Cash, please. Yes, it took out some loans. Looking good. Cancel all your cores. Slightly reduce the nationalist rebels we're going to get. Okay, spoils of war. Give me the stab. We recovered the Onion Coast, so instant cores. Um, Sunni? I thought they were both going to be Orthodox. No, no, that's right. There's one down here. It's Orthodox. Excuse me. Uh, expand the theme. Oh, we have a triumph for the Asian Minor Coast. Nice. 10 prestige and 25 army tradition. Regain control of the Black Sea. Wow, that's a lot we need. Uh, that's too much, I think. Ooh, expansion of the shipbuilding industry. 
10 years. That's pretty cool. All right, so where do we need? Uh, Crimea. Obviously, we know where that is. Matrika. Matrika here. Okay. Kaffa. Know where that is. Theodora. Know where that is. Cherico. Or something. Chair. Something like that. Let me check. Uh, Cherkio. Here. Okay. Yambol. Oh. What? How's <laughs> that Black Sea? Alright. Kind of, I guess. Did I spell that right? Definitely. No. This one. Okay. That makes all kinds of more sense. Varna. Alright. Know where that is. Yep. Uh, Dubrovnik, obviously. Constana. Constana. Here again, okay. And Toulouse. Okay, so what I think we should maybe do... Let's just deal with this heathen temple down here. Where is it? Miletinus. We shall hand that over to Orthodox priests to run. To give us that extra conversion strength. And it looks like we've got an instant calculation. That's very nice. Uh, do have loads of unrest down here, which is unfortunate. Hopefully the communication efficiency will improve a bit. Probably won't though. We need some uh, better ports or better roads down here. I've got any roads. Maybe a, maybe a road network here. It's already got a road network. No road network in this one though. Despite having so much stuff built here. Interesting. Uh, I think we should, we should throw down some roads. Don't want to cover it with manpower. The locals got any wealth to contribute? 25%. Don't really want to pay that much diplos for it now. Let's not do it yet. What I think we should do is uh, not take this yet. What we should do is take it when we're ready to launch a big military campaign. And then we'll conquer up this area. And then using the military access from there, we'll conquer up into the White Horde and seize this area from them. And then using the access we have from Crimea, we'll then conquer this region, and thereby regain control of the Black Sea. But I don't think we should do that just yet. Because I think we don't have the manpower to take on that many people in quick succession. We want to do it in quick succession because we don't want a core in between them. So let's just cycle this mission and see what we get. We can get some pretense of loan ducats, but I think we're okay for now. We need some gift her. Okay. Good to let some time go then, I think. <clears throat> Lots of Sunni fanatics building up in those few Sunni provinces I have uh, have taken. We did manage to get some permanent conversions done on these tiles, which I'm very pleased about. Okay, well, with that successful reclaimed land for the glorious Roman Empire in this episode, I think we will call it a part there. Uh, next time, we're going to do what we can do, see what we can do to uh, establish some clear succession rules, and maybe even a central military administration. I think we might be able to do that next time. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I do hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.